Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very exponential equation. We have 2 to the power 3 to the power 5 to the power x equals 3 to the power 2 to the power 5 to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values. So let's start by LNing both sides. LN is natural logarithm, so I'm just going to go ahead and LN 2 to the power 3 to the power 5 to the power x and ln 3 to the power 2 to the power 5 to the power x. Now when you ln both sides, you're going to get rid of the exponents. Not get rid of, but they're kind of they're kind of moving to the front like this. So those are the exponents. And then from here we get the following. 3 to the power 5 to the power x multiplied by ln 2 equals 2 to the power 5 to the power x, which is the exponent, multiplied by ln 3. Now, we have two exponential expressions whose exponents are the same, so that's good. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be impossible to solve, I think. If you bring those together, so let's go ahead and divide them like this. 3 to the power 5 to the power x divided by 2 to the power 5 to the power x equals ln3 over ln2. Now, we're going to use a property of exponents. If you have a to the n divided by b to the n, you can write it as a over b to the n. Obviously, n doesn't have to be an integer here. It can be any real number. So now, since they have the same exponents, we can kind of write this as 3 over 2 to the power 5 to the power x equals ln 3 over ln 2. Great. So we still have an exponent, and that exponent has an exponent. So we kind of need to do the same thing here. We need to move that uh, thing to the front, but we have to ln both sides first. So let's go ahead and ln both sides. ln 3 halves to the power 5 to the power x equals ln ln 3 over ln 2. At the end, I'm going to give you a numerical value for the answer. So now we can go ahead and move the 5 to the x and write this as 5 to the x times ln 3 over 2 equals ln ln 3 over ln 2. Now we need to divide both sides by ln 3 halves so we can isolate 5 to the power x. So we can kind of write 5 to the x as the quotient of these two things. And now we need to get rid of the x or, while, or bring it down. And x is the exponent. So we need to ln both sides one more time. And guess what? This is going to be the last time we do it. Okay. ln 5 to the x equals, I'll probably need a little bit more room here. So let's move this thing to the front. Okay. ln 5 to the x equals ln ln ln3 over ln2 divided by ln3 halves. Okay. Now this x can be moved to the front and multiply by ln5. So it's going to be x ln5 equals ln ln ln3 over ln2 divided by ln3 halves. And now we're going to divide both sides by ln5 and we're going to get x by itself. So let's do it. x if you divide both sides by ln5, you're going to get the following. ln of ln ln3 over ln2 divided by ln3 halves. And that is divided by ln5. And that should be the answer. Nice, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and this is approximately 0 0.79. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.